Hey, 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 all right, everybody. Now, I got a headline by you from This Is Money, dated the 20th of April. And I've also got an article from This Is Money, dated the 4th of April. And the two headlines paint a completely different story about electric vehicles. So you can see that they're playing everybody. These newspapers are just playing everybody for the fool. <laughs> Right, so what does the one in front of me say? So the one in front of me is quite positive about electric vehicles. So this one says, um, Britain sees a surge in EVs, but how many cars on the road are electric? New study reveals all. Ooh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? And it is a, it is a nice, it's a nice little sort of uh, article. And if I go down by here, it's talking about how many electric cars are actually on the road and how many cars all together on the road. So it says that it's about 41 million vehicles on Britain's roads, and one in every 37 cars is an electric, one in 37. Now that might sound like a long number, but it's not, it's a big number. Because I think it wasn't so long ago that it was one in 100 cars, but now it was one in 37. So let's remember, let's remember this headline, Britain sees a surge in EVs, but how many cars on the road are electric? So let's go back to This Is Money on April the 4th. So let me just have a look. Let me go and find it. I'll probably get cookies again, but uh, let's have a look what they said on April the 4th. The headline is, electric car sales continue to falter as more drivers turn to hybrids. <laughs> so, so it says, demand for electric cars continue to flatline in the UK as drivers remain reluctant to make the switch. Um, so you can see the headline is, that's a really grim one. And then the other one is quite a nice one if you like EVs. If you don't like EVs, you prefer the, the bad headline or the good, you know what I mean. <laughs> so if you don't like EVs, you like it when it says they're faltering, they're going downhill. If you like EVs, you're gonna prefer the one where it says Britain surges in EVs. So they're playing both against each other, you know, get a bit of aggro going on. But anyway, let's have a little bit more of a look at this Britain sees a surge in EVs one, because it is saying that there's an uptake in FEVs as well. Now we know that the study has come out about FEVs and the, a lot of people don't even plug them in and they're using way more. I think um, I seen an article where it said Toyota's hybrids or FEVs or wherever they are hybrids are using four times more than the actual stated number. Four times more! And they are having a laugh. They're having a laugh. Toyota, honestly, they're, they're the worst, they're the worst of the worst Toyota. They go on about, we don't want to make EVs, blah, 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 hybrids of the future. Look how clean our hybrids are. You're lying. You're lying, Toyota, right? We know you're lying. You keep lying about the blinking, um, <laughs> Solid state battery. You keep lying all the time. Lies, lies, lies. So there we go. So it goes on to say that, you know, one in 37 cars are electric. Uh, the number of BEVs in use increased by 47.3% compared to 2022. So in 2023, uh, the increase was 47.3% compared to 2022 so they're going back a few uh, a few years um, and they are saying that uh, company car emissions plummeted by uh, minus 11.5 percent uh, and that is due to EVs more EVs beginning in circulation but the trouble is they're counting the emissions going lower with FEVs as well and hybrids but we know that they're not quite as you know, good as they're saying it are. There was a new study out somewhere. I can't find it. If I can find it, I'll put it up on the screen somewhere. But um, there's an article somewhere where it says Toyota are four times worse. Are four times worse. It's a bit naughty. Well, it's more than a bit naughty. It's very, very naughty. Now, just for a laugh, right? Just for a laugh, let's go down to the comment section, right? Okay, because the comment section is always good for laugh. If I can find it, it's hidden right down by here. I did have the comment section, then more adverts popped up. So I gotta go even further. Right, here we are. Right, okay. Let's see if I can find some corkers, okay? Now, um, here's one. I'll just grab the first one there. 
I've just come back from a round trip to Heathrow Airport on the M4 from the West Country and electric vehicles are far and few between what I've seen. And now, now, here's the thing, right? If you're not interested in electric cars, you probably don't take much notice of them on the road. I'm interested in electric cars. I see them everywhere. I, I, I do. I literally, if I go out, I can't count them. I lose count. And I don't live in a place, I live in South Wales. Well, there's not that many electric cars, but I see them everywhere. Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, next one. I I'm sure these people are like paid shells. They, they must be paid shells. They can't be this stupid. People can't be this dumb. They must be paid shells to go in the comment section. Right, because his name is Zim136 blah blah blah, whatever it is, right, from Leeds. Uh, what a lot of people, <laughs> you've got to laugh. What a lot of people don't realise is the problems associated with the EVs, i.e. the weight. Many multi-storey car parks were not designed for the weight of EVs and there have been many car parks that have collapsed and floors given weight under the weight. I haven't heard of any car parks collapsing under EVs. <laughs> He's making it up. He's making it up. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see if I can find another corker. Um... EVs are the reason for large increases in insurance premiums, along with the unavailability of trained EV technicians and greedy manufacturers and resellers of spare parts, etc. But somebody did say underneath, no they're not, the whole motor industry has a parts issue and a shortage of courtesy vehicles. And this is true, it's the whole car spectrum. that They've been uh, writing off all sorts of cars they got to blame EVs, haven't they? they look, they got to blame EVs for everything. If they stub their toe, it's because I was looking at an EV over there. I wasn't looking where I was going. Bloody EVs. Is there any caucus in there? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, I've got to show more comments. It might be a few more caucus if I can dig them out. Uh, I think this is made up research. I don't see a lot of pure electric vehicles. All I see is self-charging hybrids like mine. I see, see what I mean? So he's got self-charging hybrids. So his, his blinking eyes are trained to see <laughs> self-charging hybrids. If, if you're not interested in EVs, you won't see them. The funny thing, there's a story, right? Here's a story, only a short one. Um, my daughter and her boyfriends have bought this in Leaf. And before that, they didn't notice many electric vehicles on the road. As soon as they bought that, they said, "Oh, there's loads of electric vehicles on the road. I said, yeah, I see them all the time. They didn't notice before, though. So there we go. It's your mind playing tricks on you. Anyway, so I am rambling a little bit, but um, I just like reading out some of these stories. Uh, I think you find, I think you will find that 2024 has been completely different with fewer EV sales. Seems like EVs have fallen into that notorious chasm. <laughs> the thing is, I, I, look, anti-EV people will be watching this video. There's not less EVs on the road, there's more, okay? You might think that EV sales have fallen and blah this and blah that, but there's not less EVs on the road, there's more. And next month, there'll be even more EVs on the road. And the month after that, there'll be more EVs on the road. I, I can't help it. That's just basic maths, I suppose, isn't it? If, you, if more EVs get sold, there's more EVs on the road. I know EVs get written off and blah, 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 but not, not, not at the same rate as how many new EVs are being sold. So next month, there'll be more EVs on the road. Um, see if I can find one more. It's getting a bit boring now, isn't it? Um, Excuse my ignorance, but I've been assured in various comment sections by all the car experts that EV, oh, he's been sarcastic, <laughs> that uh, EV sales were crashing because nobody wants them. So which is it? And that is it. This is the whole point. That article on the 4th of April is a completely different story to this one on the 20th of April. And mainstream media news, news outlets like this will keep doing our constantly they'll do it all the time ah so there we go so i think i think uh that's enough of that nonsense but i just wanted to point out that you know it is the mainstream media 
is attacking EVs. Uh, the brown envelopes must be pushing under the door. Well, it's not just the brown envelopes. They know that if you do a bad EV story, you get all the anti-EV people on it commenting, looking at the article. If you do a good EV story, you get all the people who hate the EVs going on commenting, saying, then we hate EVs. So it's a win-win for them. <laughs> they probably get more from the the hate, you know, the, the bad stories. And that's, that's what it's all about. If you write a story, and I guess loads of, loads of things, like the people on YouTube, like the guy in Australia, he's, he's a constant barrage of hate against EVs. He tries to find, he tries to dig up every little thing, but it's just money in his pocket. It, you know, you can't blame him. He likes money. Everybody likes money. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. I ain't getting bug at all for being pro EV. So I'm the mug. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video and you like me rambling and babbling on, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Hoi!